You want to get a 5k PB? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to achieve that. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to 40 Runs. If this is your first time at 40 Runs, make sure you smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. Loads of cool stuff down there. Right, so a 5k PB. Ooh, the holy grail. Let's get stuck in. Right, so I don't know whether you're looking for a 5k PB or a park run PB, but whatever it is, you need to do your maths. Now, you need to work out exactly what you want to achieve and what your splits are to achieve that. Now, whether you're going to be running a negative split run or whether you're going to be running an even split run or however you want to do it, but the key to a 5k PB, and I did this last year, is to know what you've got to do and have a strategy before you do it. To achieve a 5k PB, you really need to train for a 6k PB, if that makes any sense. The reason I say that is because you want to be running hard for 6k because what tends to happen with a 5k is that you fade at the end. Um, if you're training hard for a 6k, you'll keep that speed, you'll keep that stamina up all the way through the event. So in your training, trade for a hard 6k. Well, it might seem obvious, but in your training, you really need to be concentrating on speed sessions. Now I'm talking about heel sprints, um, fartlek, tempo runs, intervals, the lot. You really need to knuckle down. These are going to hurt like hell, but you really need to knuckle down maybe once or twice a week and just concentrate on that speed work. In your training, you want to be running elements faster than actually what you want to achieve. So let's say, I don't know, you want to be running five minute kilometer splits, right, to achieve your PB. Uh, maybe run your sessions at 4.45 or 4.50, maybe 4.45 is a bit much, but at 4.50. You want to be running harder in your training sessions or elements of your training sessions in particular, faster than actually what the pace you need to achieve. Um, I mean, it that way, basically on race day, it's not that it's going to seem easier, but it will be a bit easier. Right, preparation's key. Uh, don't be going out on a bender the night before. Uh, maybe like ease off on the booze that night before, get an early night. All these kind of simple things can make a difference on race day um, or on park run. So, you know, Friday night, if it is a park run, you're trying to break your PB, don't go out on a bender. Don't go down and have a, a curry or whatever. Get an early night, have something sensible to eat. Get yourself nice and rested so you're ready. Come uh, like nine o'clock on Saturday, you're ready to go for it. Strategy, oh, strategy is a big one. You need to have a strategy. We talked about earlier about pacing um, and knowing what you've got to achieve with regards to maps and stuff like that, but you need a strategy for this race. Whether it's gonna be to start hard, start slow, go fast in the middle, whatever you wanna do, but have your strategy in your mind and you know what you wanna execute, that way you'll be able to achieve your PB. Right, so this is an important one if you're doing a park run, uh, and it's get to the front. Um, yeah, you may be around the 18 year olds who knock out 17 minute park runs, but even if you're going for a 30 minute PB, get to the front. I know that's not very fair on everyone else, right, whatever, but this is your moment. Get to the front, let them go off and do their own thing. They'll get around you, so don't worry about it. But by being at the front, you'll be able to run your own race. Um, and that's important because you can get slowed down by other people, um, which is fine. But if you're trying really to get this PB, give yourself the best chance, get your elbows out, get to the front and go off and then you're nice and free, you can do your own run. So the second to last tip is not to go off too fast. Sounds obvious, right? But you're gonna get to the front, you're gonna see what's going on. You're gonna have your 18 year old mates around you. are gonna be running 17 minute park runs in a minute. And you can see it and you're gonna think, right, I feel good about this. And then you're going to get called to go and just go three, two, one, go. And then you start. And then what can happen is, because this is what I do, you start trying to run with the 18 year olds. Worst thing you could do. We spoke about it earlier. You should have a strategy in place. You should have your pacing already known what you've got to do. Your maths all sorted. Don't go off too fast. Don't try and keep up with them lot. Just go to your plan, stick to your plan and your PB will come. So that's it guys. The last tip is to give yourself a pat on the back. Even if you don't manage your PB, give yourself a pat on the back and go again. It's a tough ask, you know, we, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves running times. Me personally, I don't bother running times anymore. I go out and run and enjoy it. But I understand why people want to run PBs and I get it. Um, and hopefully these tips will be able to help you. But the most important thing is to have fun and enjoy yourself. That's it for me. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave me today and I'll catch you guys later.